Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we are going to look at some of my favorite extensions for VS Code. So if you don't know, VS Code is a code editor uh, which has a lot of awesome features. I have been using it for quite a while now. So to download Visual Studio Code, you have to go to this website over here, code.visualstudio.com and click on this button over here and it will be downloaded automatically so after you download and install it uh, when you start it uh, you will see some screen like this with this is the welcome screen i have just opened uh, one of my folders over here so let's get started by looking at some of the awesome extensions in visual studio code so the first thing i want to mention is that visual studio code has emmet installed by default so in other text editors uh, you need to install emmet uh, as a separate plugin or extension but in vs code you have emmet by default so you can do things like this ul and if you want 10 list items inside a ul you can just type this and press tab and it will be created for you so i have a dedicated video on emmet you can watch it if you want to know more about emmet so let's get started by installing some of the extensions so the first extension is called vs code icons so now if you see we don't have any icons for our files so it is difficult to say what kind of file it is uh, at a glance so for that we will search for vs code icons and click on this this is the icon by Roberto and just click on install and then click on reload now if we go to our Explorer we can see that we have different icons for different files so this is a Python file this is an HTML this is JavaScript and all these files have icons and so we can recognize them uh, quite easily the next extension is called CSS Peak. So I will go ahead and install it. Now click on Reload. Now, if you see, I have an HTML file over here, and I also have a CSS file over here. So these are uh, there are two divisions. One is called Main, and the other is called Main Two. And we have the definitions over here in our CSS file so if you want to see what is inside uh, the CSS of this main class you just have to press control and hover over this main and you can see all uh, all the properties that it has so this is pretty amazing and you can save a lot of time and you can go to different class and just press control and hover over it and you can see all the definition of it and if you want to go into the actual definition you just have to click over here and press F12 and it will take you to the main definition in the CSS file so this is a pretty amazing um, extension for VS Code the next extension is called guides so I'll just type guides and I'll just install it actually VS code has guides by uh, default but this guides extension has some more features so we'll just reload it and here we can see that these are the guides that we have these lines over here so if you click over here we have this line and we can see uh, where it ends so this is not useful for such a small file but if you have a large file and you have so many nested divisions and all those things then it will become re uh, really easier for you to see which division ends where so this is a pretty amazing uh, extension the other extension is called rainbow brackets and just install it and we'll click on reload So this can be used for our different programming files. So 
for example in javascript if we have a bracket we can see it has a yellow color and if you have another bracket inside it for example if we say 2 multiplied by and we will have another bracket where 30 plus 32 so we can see uh, we have different brackets with different color so this bracket over here ends here so we can know that by the color that it has so this red bracket ends over here so the more brackets that we have uh, the more different colors we get so this is one bracket this is another bracket this is another bracket so you can have different colors for uh, the nested brackets so this will help you uh, understand large programming files and uh, help you reduce uh, some confusion so the next extension is called beautify so I will just type beautify and this is the extension we will just install it we will click on reload so beautify is used to uh, format the HTML, CSS and JavaScript so for example if we have our title over here and all these things not aligned properly so if this is the state of our HTML file this can happen if you have a large HTML file so what happens with beautify is that when you click on save or uh, when you press ctrl s it will all align and format itself correctly so I will press ctrl s and we can see that everything is aligned properly and everything is formatted properly so this is an awesome extension that you need to have when working with large projects so this will save you a lot of time the other extension is called live server so in brackets uh, you may remember that we have this option called live preview so this extension in uh, VS code will do the same thing so I will just click on install and click on reload so now we have our extension installed so if you have an HTML file we just have to right click and click on this open with live server so this is our web page so what happens is when you type something for example this is a test and press ctrl s it is automatically updated over here so this can be really handy when you are uh, designing a website so you can see the result over here simultaneously and it will help you a lot in your development the next extension is called code runner so I'll just type code runner and here I will click on install so this uh, can be used to run C, C++, Java, JavaScript, PHP and all these different languages right on your VS code so if you have a JavaScript file and I will just type some basic line of code over here just type hi everyone and if you want to run this you can press ctrl alt and n and we can see we have this hi everyone printed over here so this can work with different files that you have for example if you have a python file I'll just print hi from python and press ctrl alt n we can see we have hi from python over here so this can be really helpful for you so you don't have to go to your terminal and type all these commands like python main pi to get this output you can do it right away so this is also a pretty awesome extension the next extension is called path intelligence so i'll just click on install and click on reload so here we have our index.html file and if i type css 
and we can see that in our CSS folder we have this main.css file so if I type CSS and press forward slash we can see we have all the different files that we have in CSS if we'll create one more file style.css we can see we have both these files shown over here so this can also be really helpful for you the next one is called HTML tag wrap so I'll just install it and click on reload so I have my HTML file over here and if I want to wrap this whole text inside a paragraph what I need to do is just select this and press alt W and it will wrap itself inside a paragraph and if you don't want a paragraph you can type anything that you want for example if I will type an h4 so it will wrap itself inside an h4 so this is a really amazing tool uh, this can save you a lot of time because otherwise you need to have to type h4 over here and then cut this from here and paste it over here so you don't have to do that anymore you just select this press ctrl w and type anything that you want over here and it will be wrapped inside that tag the next extension is called auto rename tag so I will type auto rename tag and I will install it and click on reload so in my HTML file if I do not want this to be an aside and I want it to be a footer so I will just select this and type footer and it will be updated in the end tag as well so I don't have to uh, go around and copy this thing right over here so if if I don't want this to be a division I can just type aside and it will be updated in the end tag as well so this can also be a really handy extension for you so these are some of the awesome extensions that I use in my web designing and development so there are other extensions I have installed like C++ and all these things they are not used for web development you can have IntelliSense for different languages uh, for example if you use PHP you can use PHP PHP IntelliSense and you can install this so whatever language you work on you can have IntelliSense for uh, those languages and you can install those extensions so I hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, if you have liked this video please click on the like button and share this video with your friends and if you have any doubts or comments you can leave them in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day